In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your hobby into a community and even charge people for it. Essentially, this is called a paid community and I'm going to show you how you can do this in less than an hour. Hi everyone, my name is Romy and welcome back to Make Something with Romy. In this channel, we explore all the things you can do without knowing how to design or code. So first things first, what is a paid community? It's simply a group of people who want to engage with each other around a shared interest, but need to pay a fee to do that, either monthly or one time. Yes, yes, you can legit make money off a community. And here are some folks who are doing that successfully. Study is a paid community for writers who are starting out in their career. For 11 bucks a month, they can get their questions answered from a whole group of writers. Visualized value is another example. For $149 a year, you can sign up to learn how to make money from your side projects. Or yoga with Adrian, our favorite yoga teacher to whom you can pay $10 a month. Her videos may be free online, but you can get access to fellow yoga enthusiasts and some amazing bonus content. See, my point is anything you're passionate about, you can turn into a community and actually make money off it. To start a paid community here is what you need. A way for people to sign up to it, like a website. A way for them to pay using a credit card. Any community tool of your choice. And a way for you to manage your members. Now, if you're talking pro level here, you can also automate some of the repetitive tasks like sending welcome emails automatically or even adding them to our community tool once they sign up. All right, so to recap, we're talking about four elements here. A website building tool, a payment tool, a community tool, and finally a database to manage our members. You can see a previous video I did on how to pick the best tools while building a community. I'll link it in the description box below as well. So the example we'll take in today's video is we we'll build a hypothetical paid community for this channel. We'll be building a one-page website using Cart. We'll be charging a recurring monthly fee for users using Stripe. And then we'll be added to our community tool, which in our case will be Slack. Finally, we can talk about some ways in which we can manage the community and we will use Airtable as a database tool. Are we all set? Let's do it. It's super easy. I'll show you how. So let's go create our website. And we're using Cart. It's going to be a breeze. For our purpose today, I'm looking to create three sections. One, where I can give an introduction to what the site is about. Second, where I can actually get people to pay for the community. And finally, a simple footer. Here I'm logged into card. We'll choose a starting point to select a template. My site is really simple and any of these landing page templates which card has will work. I'll go with this one. The first thing I'll do is delete most of these sections I don't need. That looks so much cleaner. Next, I'll simply fill in the copy for the first two sections, which is as simple as clicking on it and editing the text. I'll make a time jump and we're done. In the second section, I've added some text to explain what value they'll get from joining the community. Now, in this section, let's add a form where people can pay if they want to join. Click add an element here and we'll add a form. Now I'm going to change the type of form to custom. You'll need a custom form to be able to send data to your database when we connect it. The way I envision this is I want people to enter their email and then pay. And the payment will happen through Stripe. The email will then go to our database, which in our case is Airtable. Let's go to the form fields tab. Change the field type to email and change the label, which is what people will see when they're looking at the form. The type label here indicates whether this is a required field. Now that we are done with some basic changes on how the form looks, let's go ahead and connect it to Airtable. When anyone signs up on my card site, I want that email to be sent to Airtable. I've gone ahead and created an Airtable base called Community Members. The table has two fields. First, an email, which is what the card form captures, and also a date of joining. This is a field type called Created Time in Airtable. It gets automatically filled with the date and time when a record is created. That way, I know when someone joins. So let's switch back to our card site and make the connection. We'll navigate back to the Form Element tab. In the Type section, select Send to Airtable. After that, you'll need to fill out three things. 
your Airtable API key, which you can find on your account page. Essentially, an API key is a unique code which lets you connect one application to the other. The second, your base ID. We can get this by navigating to Airtable.com slash API and then select your base. From there, you can paste this number. And finally, the name of your table. In our case, we've called it members and we'll just type that here. That's it. We made the connection. Although, hold on, we can't test it out yet. We'll first have to connect the payments and then test the whole form together. First, let's navigate to the form button tab. Now here is when we're gonna tell card that when we click the button, it will take us to a credit card page where people can pay. First off, we will change the button copy here to simply pay, obviously. Then from here, we'll also select the required payment via Stripe. The product type will be subscribe. This is important because if you select pay, it's just a one-time payment. But for recurring payments, which is what we need, we need to select subscribe. From here, we just need three more things to complete this. The price ID and then the API keys. You guessed it right. We'll get that from Stripe. So let's head over there right now. Here we are in the Stripe dashboard. If you have worked with Stripe before or watched my last video, you know that we'll do this in two steps. First, we'll test things and then we'll go live. Testing will make sure we can catch any user errors in testing. I mean, we don't want any failed credit cards when members are trying to join, right? We'll test payments by using a test product and test API keys. Once it works, we'll switch to a live product and live API keys. Pretty simple. So let's go right into test mode here. First, I'll create a test product. We'll go to add a product and then choose recurring since we want a recurring payment. Let's give it a name and then price it at $1.10 a month. I'll hit save. Then we'll take this test price ID, copy it, and then paste it in the price ID field in a card form. That's it. Let's head back to Stripe. Over here, we're going to grab our test API keys. Your API keys can be found right on the home page. We'll paste both the publishable and the secret key in the corresponding fields and card. That's it. We are almost done. First, we have to publish the site on card. Let's navigate here and hit publish. We'll enter a title, description, and then give it a URL. Nice, make something with Romy is available. There, now the site is live. Hmm, that looks really good. Now wait, before we actually enter our credit cards and test it, we have to do one final thing. We have to grab this newly published URL and head back to our Stripe dashboard. Let's head to settings and then find checkout settings. And then we have to add this URL here. Unless we add the URL, Stripe will not allow payments to come from the site. We'll hit save. And then it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's test. We'll head back to our site and then join our community. So for using a credit card, Stripe gives us a bunch of test credit cards we can use use any one of them. Honestly, you can price one of your test products at a million dollars a month. It's a test card, it doesn't matter. Let's fill out all the details and then let's hit pay. Hold your breath and yes, it's successful. We can actually find the payment in our Stripe dashboard and also in Airtable. See, it's all working, amazing. Now all we need to do is go live. We'll switch out our test product for a live product and the test API keys for the live keys. That's it. Let's do it. First thing we need to do is switch off the test mode in our Stripe dashboard. Next, we're gonna create an actual product. And then like before, we're gonna take the price ID and then paste it in our card form. Things are getting pretty real. The last thing, we need to switch out the test API keys with the live ones. And that is all done. 
Finally, let's just publish the changes. Okay, this is live. Actual members can now join this community. Isn't that cool? I love it. Let's quickly see if things are looking good. I'll go ahead, put my email, and yes, the credit card page pops up. We're all set and live. Oh wait, we are still missing one last part. We need to set up a community tool so we can invite people to it, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So let's get into the most complicated part of this video. I'm just kidding. Uh, and honestly, it's as simple as setting up an account and inviting your members. So here I am on the Slack homepage. As you can see, I'm using Slack as my community tool and you can use any community tool of your choice. I'm going to go here, find create a new workspace and then enter my email. It will then prompt me to name my community, which is make something with Romy and, um, and a couple of other questions, which are pretty optional. Once I do that, it will drop me into the community and I can always go and invite new members here. The way this will work is once someone pays you, you can manually add them to your community. I'll also show you a neat trick on how to automate it later. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and create the community you want. See, I told you the step was the easiest. So for managing our members, we're going to chat about a couple of situations. The first is sending e welcome emails to all our members who are joining. And the second is once they sign up, how can we automatically add them to Slack? Every time a new member joins, there are some repeated tasks that I just don't want to do manually. And I can totally automate these. So I'm going to send them a welcome email to make them feel special. And within that email, I'll also send a link to join the community. For that, Airtable has this great toolkit called Automations. Every time a record is created here in my database, I want to send the newly joined member an email. To do that, I'll select Create a Custom Automation. Name it Welcome Email. And the trigger of that will be when a new record is created. The action will then be to send an email. The to field will be the email of the member who has joined. Subject will be, thank you for becoming a member of Make Something. First, let's go to Slack. So I can go to invite new members and I can copy this link here. So let's go back to Airtable and this is the email I want to go out to every member. We can test this automation. Now, once I run this test, I should get an email. Yes, there it is. I love it when tests work. That looks great. And then we can turn on the automation. That is a wrap. Now look, I hope you saw how easy it is to create a paid community. It literally takes an hour. So one last thought I want to leave you with is what do you want to offer your community members? Think about it because that's what people are going to pay you for. And I want to make sure that they get value from it. Is it going to be like quality, high quality discussions with a moderator? Or is it going to be access to some exclusive content which they wouldn't have seen otherwise? Or it could be maybe you want to teach a course. That's something for you to figure out. As I keep telling you, the tool is the easy part. And I think I just finished my part. Now it's time for you to do yours. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. We hit 500 members. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your support. And hit me up in the comments with anything else you'd like to see around community. This is Romy and I hope this week you think about how you can turn your passion into your community. And maybe even start earning money from it. It's super easy. We just did it in an hour.